Hey, let's watch me draw last weekend's update of The Ballad of Adler Young. I'm using a non-photo blue pencil, well, a mechanical pencil with non-photo blue lead because the blue lead doesn't show up if you scan in black and white bitmap mode, uh, which means that you don't have to erase your pencil after you've inked, which saves me some time. The one drawback, though, with the blue pencil is that they don't erase very well. So if you make, like, just then I had to fix something. The blue pencil doesn't erase very well, so you don't have as many opportunities to sort of fix things and refine the sketches as you go. You sort of have to trust yourself to get it right the first time, which can sometimes be risky. If I'm working on a drawing where I'm, I'm really unsure of the pose and the proportions and I feel like I'm going to need to massage it as I go, then I'll use uh, number two graphite pencil. Now I'm inking with a, a felt tip drawing pen. It doesn't give the same line width variation as a brush, but it draws a lot drier so I can... I can move faster because I don't have to worry about smudging my ink lines. Speaking of smudging, that card that I have underneath my right hand is something that I came up with to prevent like skin oils and, and palm sweat from getting into the paper. Because uh, if there's bodily moisture gets into the paper even after it has dried it will cause ink to feather when you go back to ink i tried drawing with gloves on but i just could not stand it and i eventually settled on using this card i cut the corners off to give my pencil clearance and then just sort of scoop my hand around with that piece of card under it and it has worked out for me so far that's probably the 50th card that I've used because after a while they, the, the hand funk that it's preventing from getting to the piece of paper is soaking into the card so after a while they kind of wear out so I'll make a new one. That's probably much more than you wanted to know. Let me see, what else can I talk about? Oh, that notebook down there in the lower left. I am, you know, I'm total paper addict. I work on paper. There's not really a convenient place at my drawing table to put a computer. Oh, there I had to look at the uh, at Xandar Saga to make sure that Adler's fancy long jacket looked the same as it does when he appears l later, which was drawn years ago, but chronologically in the story, it's later. Anyway, I was talking about the notebook. The, uh, the forum commands for the ballad, I write them down in that notebook so I will have them at my drawing table to consult when I go to draw the illustrations for the update. And you'll also notice that uh, on the, the previous page I was working on, which is sitting up there on the binder, had some of the drawings from the previous update at the top that's just thriftiness I can usually fit six drawings six panels on a piece of paper and I mean I don't see a need to pull out a whole fresh piece for the next update when there are still available spaces on the, on the old sheet so I fill them up before I pull out a new one and it does result in a lot of re-scanning but that doesn't bother me um, I'm leaving. I'm leaving the spot blacks open <clears throat> instead of filling them in with a sharpie or something. I'm just leaving everything outlined because these are going to be scanned, and I just fill in the blacks digitally on the computer. Since this whole thing is going to be posted online, it'll have to be in imported into the computer anyway. Now, if this was a commission and I was going to be sending the original paper to the commissioner, then, of course, the original would have to be finished, and I'd ink in all of the black actually on the page. But with digital art, that's not necessary. 